Welcome to the new and improved WeatherStem daily time-lapse feature. At the end of every day, every WeatherStem camera will create a time-lapse that sort of tells the story of the day just ended. WeatherStem time-lapses have become one of our company's signatures over the years, and I'm excited to share some really cool enhancements we've just made to this innovative feature. We have just designed a new file format we call WSTL or Weather Stem Time Lapse Format. It is an innovative way of packaging a ton of weather data and information into a standard video file while not impacting the overall size of the video or its download time. The result is a streamlined experience where you can visualize the day's weather alongside the story the camera has to tell. We're going to have a look at one of these new WeatherStem daily time lapses and point out some of the cool new features we've added. We'll be working with a WeatherStem unit at beautiful Blue Lagoon Island in the Bahamas for our demonstration. There is now a new daily time lapse link on WeatherStem unit homepages that when clicked will launch the most recently created daily time lapse from the previous day. Many WeatherStem units have multiple cameras. When you click on the Cameras tab, you'll see a list of the unit's cameras. Just to the right of the name of the camera is a time-lapse icon. Clicking the icon will launch the most recently produced daily time-lapse for the camera. Let's have a look at a daily time-lapse. The progress indicator on this screen will show you how much of the time-lapse you're getting ready to view has been downloaded versus how much remains to be downloaded. In the upper left part of the page, we see our time-lapse playing. In the upper right, we have a table that shows us sensor readings from the WeatherStem station associated with the camera synced up with the appropriate frame in the movie. And down below, we have a graph that lets us visually see how the weather behaved during the day. The solid black line traversing across the graph from left to right is synced in time with the movie. Notice in the list of sensors, temperature is shaded in blue. I can add additional sensors to the graph. For instance, I'll click on relative humidity. Now I'll click on wind speed. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and add air pressure as well. Notice how as I mouse over individual rows from the table, I'm presented with the maximum and minimum values and their corresponding times for the sensor and scope. Let's take a closer look at the behavior of the graph. The legend lets me see how color plots correspond with sensors. As I mouse over the data point, a pop-up label shows me the sensor reading at the time. Clicking a data point pauses the movie and jumps it to the time corresponding with the data point. Right-clicking lets me download an image of the graph as a PNG file. I can advance the playhead on the movie and the black line on the graph and the sensor readings on the table update accordingly. If I want to save an image from the time-lapse movie, I just move the playhead to the desired time. I can also move the movie backward or forward one frame at a time with the previous frame or the next frame controls. Once I have my desired image, I click Take Snapshot and a window will open up with my image. Clicking the image lets me download it to my desktop as a JPEG image. Want to share one of these cool daily time lapses with your friends? It's really easy. Just click on the Facebook icon or the Twitter icon. You can also share an individual image as well. So, that's a look at WeatherStem's exciting new daily time lapse feature. Enjoy the weather!